Love. You are the dirtiest four-letter word I know. You are the Rickroll pop-up video. You are a urinal on display at the MoMA. No disrespect to Marcel Duchamp. I'm not a cynic, just a realist overfed with contradictions like Echo Sweethearts. Besides, the only difference between cynics and realists these days is how frequently they check Facebook. I blame America. We both spoke the world's highest quality of life and the highest incidence of depression. This shouldn't come as a surprise when even our Happy Meals cause blood clots. <laughs> I had been trying for weeks to write any poem that wasn't a love poem, but love, like a whack-a-mole, kept popping up. Love, you are in a state of identity crisis. A dandelion wisp caught on the lipstick of kids raised against a paradoxical backdrop. Porn glistening on the well-stocked walls of a convenience store. Movies rated R not for gore, but for a two-second shot of nipples. And Disney-sponsored fairy tale endings. Kids learn how sex works before they know what love feels like. I was no exception to this trend. And speaking of mythology, when Prometheus brought fire to the mortals, the gods punished him by having an eagle eat out his liver once a day for all eternity. This reminds me of Valentine's Day. <laughs> There's a reason everybody hates it. People fear that which makes them look inadequate and hate the things they do not understand. Love, you are not something I understand. A language still foreign to my tongue, but I've always had a propensity for falling headfirst into pools of the things I try most to avoid, so I must confess, lately, I'm a little bit in love. I had all but waned to a crescent when I was suddenly love-struck. Love-struck and spun my sliver into a smile. I've been grinning like the Cheshire Cat for four months now because, for the first time since forever, I've stopped judging moments by how, if I were to suddenly disappear, would it have been enough? The answer is so often yes, and besides, I'm too busy deciding whether her eyes are blue, gray, or green to consider such morbid hypotheticals. I'm leaning towards green, though I don't know the answer. As a professional bullshit artist, I've learned to define the terms I do not understand by stating what they are not. Love, you are not a metaphor. Love. You are not a box of chocolates, nor roses, nor a sunrise, nor a battlefield. You are not a stranger. You do not make the world go round, and you are certainly not all I need. But I do need you. Love is like not knowing the answer. Love, though not a metaphor, you are a little like a simile, a little like a glass simultaneously half full and empty. You are like my mother walking in on us at 1 p.m. You are like the way we kiss when there is food in our mouths because we are disgusting. You are like the glass of dead flowers I keep on my table from the day I came back from Christmas vacation and you stood on the street corner with a bouquet of green roses. You are like, for the first time, I feel beautiful wearing nothing but skin. You are like a bottle of wine with a twist-off cap. <laughs> you are not the heels of our hands. But maybe, just maybe, you are the heels of our feet. I am digging in my heels. And I suggest everybody do the same because to all the realists checking Facebook, I do not know when exactly. But I swear one day, it will come. <laughs>